I am beyond excited to share this home with you today. So today we're at 15 Fire Rock out here in Southern Highlands Country Club. And let me tell you, we've showcased some pretty substantial custom homes. But let me just tell you, when you see them in person and you see the build quality, a lot of them let you down. This is not one of those properties. This is an incredible estate and I cannot, I'm so excited to show you this one. So without further ado, let's get this tour started. Welcome inside. Now, first off, we've seen pivot doors. This is an entire wrought iron pivot door. And let me tell you, I'm, I'm decently strong. And I mean, that's how much effort it takes to close it. It's incredible. Like everything you will find in this house, quality to the T. So starting off this entire house, there is no carpeting. This is all 24 by 48 inch tile. Very nice. I'm not sure if it's limestone, it looks like limestone, but I digress, let's go, let's get in here. So this is the main living space. So first off, let's talk about this living room. So this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fireplaces. Electric fireplaces have come a very long way over the years from a paper mache flickering flame that looks terrible to this. I've been using this for about five years in my remodels. This is Dimplex, this is the XL100. This is a 100 inch fireplace. I'm 6'1", with, uh, with a six foot six wingspan. I mean, you get the idea. This is a huge fireplace. You have volume ceilings, amazing. We're gonna flip around and start checking out the kitchen. Of course, now we were just showing another house. A lot of doors have these sliders only the top ones have pockets. So this is a pocket slider. I believe this is a 20 feet long pocket slider. We're gonna get some B-roll and show you this inside, outside. It's right now 106 degrees. It's too damn hot. That's why these are closed. Let's check out this kitchen. All right. We have our eating area. And again, over in this eating area, this is cool, I'll run over. Again, if it weren't 106 degrees, I'd have this open. Amazing, you got your view of the pool, this amazing patio, we'll see that in a little bit. But these pocket doors open. These are dual pocket doors that connect at the corner. Unbelievable, very expensive, very nice quality. Lovely lighting fixture. The cabinetry in this house is amazing. Melamine, looks like zebra wood. Again, we just showed a house the other day. Quartz countertops, custom. These are three inch quartz countertops, full floated fabrication. For a home of this value, this is what you want. This is what you would expect. Now, we're gonna back up here and I'm gonna show you some of the kitchen. Now, first off, just this island is so massive that there's literally three slabs just to create this island for the top. Then it's accentuated on both sides by a waterfall edge. So this is a massive island. We have two sinks when Ashley comes around, I'm gonna show you that in a second because this is one of the coolest sinks you will find. Again, we have all the cabinets, they're floating over here. Unlike a lot of homes that we've seen, these appliances are all uniform. A lot of times you see mix and match. You don't see mix and match here. This is literally a custom home that is serious. So here we have the 48 inch custom Thermador vent hood. We have a matching grill top. Again, cooktops are on the top. Grill tops have the controls in front. Grill top. When she comes around later, you'll see not only are these cabinets floating, but they're also down illuminating. We have the obligatory pot filler, but you know, a lot of these homes don't have them. Lovely, lovely tile backsplash. Coming over to this side, we have our double ovens. How cool is this? Instead of having your vertical double ovens, we have horizontal double ovens. Nice look, love, love, love. Very nice with Wi-Fi connectivity. Here you go, 16 inch refrigerator, Thermador. Ooh, ah, no, this is really, really nice. Of course, if you live in a $5 million home, 
eh, we're actually discounting it now. We're, we're down to, I think, 4.2. You have your Thermador espresso maker. So what's better? No more Starbucks, no need to worry about it, everything in the house. And of course, you have a Thermador microwave. Now, we're gonna come around this way so I can show you a little bit more of what we were talking about. As you come over here, you can possibly see the illuminated cabinetry. Worse, we'll get some B-roll. One of my biggest peeves, so we'll stay right there, one of my biggest peeves, and I can't even do it at the same time, two dishwashers. You've got $3 million homes that only have one dishwasher. They got this one right, you have two. Oh, that's where that big wingspan comes into play. Two dishwashers, amazing. Now this is, this is the coolest. Uh, now this is called the galley sink. This is a custom sink. It's modular. So these pieces fit in the lips of the sink. So if you want something to drain through, you have that. Here's a mixing bowl that has its own uh, top that fits in perfectly. So this is amazing modular. And all of these trays that you can use to piece in fits in a perfect custom tray drawer right down here. It's amazing. Worst case, we'll get you some B-roll on it. All right, so that shows most of this kitchen. We're gonna swivel around this way and see a little bit more. Now, over here, we have a secondary kitchen. When you get into properties of this size and magnitude, a lot of times you're catering events. So this is like the kitchen area for catering. So as we come down here, you're gonna see, still didn't cheap out on the cabinetry. So you have the brown zebra wood melamine made cabinets along with the gray zebra wood. Nice contrast from when you're coming in. Still didn't cheap out, three inch quartz countertops. You got a stainless steel farm sink. I don't even know what this is. This is the utility closet. This is where the whole Crestron system is to run all the electronics. Copious amounts of cabinetry and storage. If you back up, this is one of the cool things. If you look up here, these are recessed illuminating lights throughout all the cabinetry. There's tons of this stuff. It's really, really unique. Now, this is the entrance from the garage. So this is the, your mudroom area. So you can sit down, take your shoes off. We've got more storage over here. Again, the illumination is seamless. It's so clean, so beautiful. Now, as we get in here, and a lot of the lights are on a sensor, so as you uh, enter the access, the lights will turn on. This house is insane. This is a laundry room, but wait, you're gonna see more washers and dryers. This is the main laundry room. So you got your washer, dryer. How many laundry rooms do you see with a Kohler farm sink. This is the kind of home we're looking at. Amazing, amazing level of detail. One of my favorite new features you're gonna find, for people that have pets, I love dogs, for your fur baby, how cool is this? You can actually take your pet, put him or her in here, wash them out, you even have a wand to scrub them down. Just an unbelievable, unbelievable feature. All right, enough of the boring stuff. Let's keep it moving into the main living space. There's so much to this house, and everywhere you look, it's fantastic. So first, we're gonna come down this way. Again, we're in the main living area. We've got the patio space over here. Now, this is more or less like a fun room, if you will. So this is actually plumbed to be uh, a movie theater. So there actually is projector wiring. Now, in this space, you have a coffered ceiling but you can see in the tray of the ceiling, there's actual wood that's sensational. You've got surround sound through this entire house, additional surround sound in here since this is supposed to be a movie theater, but in the coffers of the ceiling is illumination. So I can imagine how nice this is at night because during the day, it's amazing. So over here, you can see how it's currently set up with just a regular television, some cabinetry so you can keep all your stuff in there. Again, if you decided to make this a movie theater, which I would in a heartbeat, this would actually be a projector screen. Now, coming over in this area, this is set up as a bar. This is the level of detail that I'm trying to illustrate. In a lot of homes, you'll see like a wine chiller by itself. This is actually a custom cabinet face. So literally, they put a custom cabinetry face on here so all the cabinetry is seamless. Those are the kind of touches that you should see in these types of homes, but oftentimes you don't. Again, this is set up as a bar, lovely. Again, still three inch quartz counter services. This is neat, later we'll have this open, but this right here is an accordion door. 
So if you have guests outside, you can pass them the drinks right through. Really cool, nice touch. Finally, just like we had on the opposing side, this right here are pocket doors. So this is gonna deploy right into the walls and you'll have seamless indoor outdoor living. I'm sure there's some B-roll you're gonna see there. All right, back into the main living space. There's so much to see, it's insane. Now we're gonna come around this area so you can get a little bit more of a vantage point. Look at you, Ashley, doing such a good job with the camera. All right, now this is a really neat area. I love this. All, of, again, every touch you're gonna see in this house is just sublime. So we have a perfectly floating barn door, real wood, frosted glass. This is set up to be an office. So if you wanted, right here, this is pre-wired for your flat screen television. This basically speaks for itself. Um, you do have a closet over here. Um, again, this is just set up to be just an office right in the front of the house. But even this closet, we'll get some B-roll, even this closet has custom built-in features. They didn't skip anywhere here. Again, continuing with the coffered ceiling, the wood inlays, sensational. All right, coming down to this area, we have two areas. This right here is just gonna be your powder bath. So I don't know if you just saw, but we have floating cabinets with an illuminating downward. This is insane. They went ahead here and put in a six inch lip on the quartz countertop, not just the three inch. You just have to see it, it's amazing. Lovely tile accent wall, fantastic. All right, now this is cool. So this is like your spa, your meditation room. So this can be a bedroom. Uh, right now it's situated as a spa room, but again, no wood on the ceiling. This is very zen-like, but you still have the illumination in the coffers. Right here, you have a spacious patio, which leads out to the front of the home. Now, this also, along with being a bedroom, this is also a secondary suite. So if you wanted to, this could be a secondary master suite, pseudo suite. In here, we have the closet. It's gonna be a little bit tight, but again, a full custom built closet. B-roll footage right here. This suite has its own washer and dryer. How many secondary suites have you seen with a washer and dryer? Nice touch. Okay, as nice as this bathroom is, just wait until you see the master. Okay, first off, we have a lovely, lovely, lovely countertop. Again, precision, six inch quartz countertops. You have to see this in person to appreciate just the seamless design of the cabinetry and the counter, the craftsmanship here is amazing. Another thing we need B-roll for, these sinks are custom fabricated trough style sinks. So this is a gray quartz custom trough sink. This is in multiple bathrooms in this house. This is fantastic. Now this shower is amazing. It's walk-in, so you still have your rainfall shower head. This is all a complete slab of quartz that matches the countertop. This entire enclosure is all quartz. You have your inlays for your shampoo, conditioner. Does it look like I know about that? Probably not. This is awesome. This floating shelf here to sit on, this is actually made out of quartz. Who does that? Very nice. Right here is your controls for the shower. So if you're a particular person and you have to have your shower at 114 degrees, precision, 114 degrees. This is crazy. Here we go. Another bathroom, another one. You have a toilet here, and even in this bathroom, you have two, you have one major sink. We're gonna have to get the B-roll for this, but you have one huge sink with two faucets. This is actually the pool bathroom. So while there's no point accessing it from this direction, if you are in the pool and you just wanna rinse off, you can come right around the side yard, come in here, fantastic. All right, so this wing of the house is done. Now we're gonna swing around and see a little bit more. Okay, as we're coming again, I mean, just take a look at this amazing space. It's, I hope this translates on film because in person, this is just sensational. All right, now we're about to enter the master suite and you're about to see some stuff. Okay, in this master suite, it's very spacious, but not overly large. One of the things that I don't like about some of these custom homes is to justify how grandiose they are. You have obnoxiously large master bedrooms. You can't even see the television if it were 100 inches because the space is so unusable and huge. 
lots of redundant space. This to me is the perfect size for a master suite. Plenty of room, but not too much. This area is nice. Kind of matching the family room, living room area we saw earlier. You have a great media wall, pre-wired for your television. We have the same Dimplex fireplace, but I believe this one is a 60 inch instead of the 100 inch. Fantastic, craftsmanship's amazing. Over here, again, we have amazing illumination for the cabinets. I'm sure you can see for that vantage point, even all these shelves have the illumination all the way up to the ceiling. Three inch quartz countertops. Again, we have your refrigerator with custom cabinetry, seamless, so nice. Let's get to the money. This is one of the greatest bathrooms, greatest. Here's one toilet. It's the amazing toilets that you kind of walk in, it knows you're there, it opens up for you. How nice, thank you, very considerate. All right, gotta talk about this shower. This shower is so sensational. Now, even the transitions, these transitions are quartz that match the countertops. You've got your river rocks, you have a tumble travertine uh, shower pan floor. Inside, like that other bathroom, the other suite, every single wall in this entire shower is a slab of quartz. You have to be here to appreciate it. You have extended length glass all the way up. Again, the transition from the top of the shower is quartz. The entire surround is all quartz. Of course, this is a steam shower. You have your rain shower for all head. You have your hand wand, two shower heads, and everything can be controlled from inside, or if you can't be bothered to get inside, you can control it from outside the shower as well. Now over here is his vanity and his is her vanity. Again, rarely do you see this. Six inch custom fabricated countertops. This is a different trough sink. So this one angles towards the back wall. You have a lovely floating mirror, lovely backsplash. This is just divine. One thing, do you guys like, this is one of the biggest new trends. Do you guys like having the bathtub in the shower? I'm really, I don't really take baths. I'm, I'm not a dirty person, I take showers. I don't really take baths, but I know a lot of you women love your baths. Would you rather have a bath with a television and a separate space? Or do you actually like this in the shower? Now, here we are in the closet. We're gonna have to, it's tight, so we might have to get some B-roll. But what I wanna show you is if you pan here, come on now, a washer dryer. Again, another washer dryer. So this is the third laundry area that you have access to. How nice, how convenient. But let's be honest, if you're living in a $4 million home like this, you're probably not doing your own laundry. You probably have people for that. So convenient, but I guess it's convenient for your people. All right. So now that we've finished with the first floor, let's cruise up the stairs. Let's see what's going on upstairs, all right? All right, now that we're upstairs, by the way, how nice was that staircase? Those floating stairs get me every single time. All right, now we're upstairs in the loft. Maybe a redundant space since you already have a media room and you have other areas. But especially if you have children, this is a great space for the children to keep all their toys. No one else has to see it. You do have a nice wet bar. Again, three inch custom fabricated quartz countertop. Again, custom cabinetry for the chiller. Yeah, I don't know. I guess if your kids like to drink, uh, there you go upstairs. That's a joke. Come on. I don't want to hear that in the comments. All right. Again, even though we're upstairs, we still have the 24 by 48 inch tile. Now, here's one secondary bedroom. So this is pretty much set up just to be a basic bedroom. Again, no carpeting. But first, I'm going to show you one thing. Let's see the bathroom and then I'm going to show you something kind of neat that you never see. So again, we have sensor based lights the floating shelves just illuminated. In the bathroom, we have a six inch custom uh, countertop. We have a Duravit sunken uh, sink. We have a nice tile backsplash. And of course, we have a matching uh, accent wall that matches the backsplash here. This, this part of the shower surround matches the floor. And again, we have a quartz transition for the shower. Spectacular. Now, head over this way, Ashley. Yeah, go over this way. This is neat. How many do you, times do you see this? 
We have a pre-wire for a flat screen on this wall if you want to watch TV this way. We also have a pre-wire on this wall in case you want to watch this way. Or if you just want to double down, you can rock two TVs. Kind of cool. Across the hallway, we have another secondary bedroom. Now, unfortunately, this one only has one TV hookup. But just like the other bedroom, we have recessed lighting, ceiling wire for a uh, pre-wire for a ceiling fan, and two lights for the speaker system. Now, again, we have the six inch lip for the countertop, floating cabinetry. We have similar backsplash, similar here. The only difference is this backsplash is a little bit different, a little bit mirroring the cabinet, zebra wood, very nice. And, you know, we'll get some B-roll, but the closets in here are all custom. Very, very nice for a secondary bedroom. I think we have one more to go. So let's check out the last secondary bedroom. Again, we have the loft area here that we already showed. And now here we are, we have television hookup on this wall. Again, basically just a vacant box. Here we have, same deal. Same zebra wood cabinet, same six inch lip, same uh, backsplash tile, and the same matching zebra wood looking tile and uh, floor matching shower surround. So that pretty much knocks out all of the bedrooms for upstairs here. So, we've seen the downstairs, we've seen the upstairs. What's left? What's left? Of course. We gotta check out this backyard, because the backyard is amazing. So without further ado, let's cut to outside. I lied, we're still inside. But we opened the pocket doors. I'm gonna sweat for a few minutes and now we're gonna experience this indoor outdoor living. So here we are, this is under the patio cover. Now, right underneath me, this is actually an iron covered patio cover and these wood beams has been specially treated with a special laminate to keep it from warping or having any moisture issues. So very, very luxurious, very nice. As we step a little bit farther out here, this is partially covered, so you still get some sunlight. I love this. So your wet deck is a little bit different here. This wet deck actually has jets. So you have three jets that uh, protrude up and it also has LED lighting, so at night you can change the colors. Just an amazing feature. Uh, you even have these little step stones leading to this wet deck area right here. So here you have three more of the jets with the lights, and you can put your chase lounges here. I think you can probably fit about six of them. Right behind me over here, this is a water feature, a sheer descent. We'll get some B-roll footage to see it. And above it is a fire feature, like a fire pit. Obviously we can't show it because it's daylight. You won't really get the full effect. Now, as we come over to this area, again, with all the sliders open, look how seamless this is. Just walking inside and out. You don't see any of the sliders because they're fully retracted in here. This is a huge difference between what you've seen $2 million, $3 million homes. This is special. This requires engineering and good construction know-how. Coming down this way, Again, you can see the floor tracks for the pocket doors. This is leading into the master suite. So again, how wonderful is this indoor act outdoor? If it weren't 106 degrees, I would really be enjoying this. Over here, we have the same flooring inside leading out here. We have a nice turf area. We have these great date palms. These are wonderful palm trees, very expensive. But we have a great lush area for the kids to play or pets to do their thing. We're gonna head back over to this side. Again, this is just such a wonderful space. Even above, you probably can't see too much on camera right now, we'll get some B-roll, but even above, we have vinyl planks, so it's weather resistant. So we have basically wood flooring on the ceiling of the patio. Amazing feature, amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, coming down this way, Again, this was the fun room. This would be the movie theater, the media room. Again, seamless, indoor, outdoor. Go around that way. We're gonna show you, remember those accordion doors I was telling you about? Hey, we're ready for drinks. Here's a big drink. It's not. But how cool is this to be able to pass drinks through? It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, coming back around. Um, first, we're gonna do this. No one really knows the exact term for it. But right here, we have our jacuzzi with an infinity edge. I 
call this the Quattro Infinity Edge, which is probably completely incorrect. But I'm gonna coin that phrase and we're gonna use that in every single video until people kill me for it. All right, lovely integrated step surrounded by water. We have a lovely seating area. This is a concrete fire pit, lovely, lovely. Coming back over here to finish this up is our outdoor kitchen. Now, this is really neat. These countertops are actually made out of concrete. So these are concrete slabs that have been etched. Really important, a lot of times you'll see quartz countertops, granite countertops, they just get destroyed out here with the intense heat and the direct sunlight. So this will maintain and look fantastic forever. We have the same tile that was used in the media wall. We have our grill, so I think it's a 36 inch grill, a little space here for tools, etc. And of course, we have an outdoor uh, refrigerator, which seriously I could use right now. Do you see all this sweat? We're at 108 degrees. All right, that's it for outside of the house. Let's wrap this up, okay? All right, well that concludes today's walkthrough. I am dying to hear what your comments are. What is your favorite feature of the house? Do you think it's worth the price? Be sure to leave your comments below. Now in the meantime, I wanna offer a special thanks to Ernie Domonico, Domonico Construction, and Desert Trail Realty for allowing me to shoot this sensational estate. If you're interested in purchasing or have any general questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me directly. I'll be sure to leave my information in the description below. Please click subscribe, catch us on the next one. Thanks for watching.